until the 30 days are done. We'll see if I have a snatch waist or not. So it's gone down three inches so far, so. Hey guys, it's Rhea and I'm back with another video. This one's a fun one because I'm doing a challenge. We love a challenge. I last challenge I did was the jump rope challenge, so go check that one out if you want. But today we're doing the 30 day stomach vacuum challenge. Stephanie Buttermore created this challenge, I'm pretty sure. She didn't create stomach vacuums, but I think she was just the first to do the challenge. If you don't know what stomach vacuums are, they're basically an ab exercise that works your transverse transverse abdominals, which is like, you have your like rectus abdominals at the front, which is like the six pack, but then underneath is the transverse abdominals. And you normally don't really work them out when you do like your typical ab movements. And these transverse, transverse, oh my god, help, and these transverse abdominals kind of act as like a corset around your waist. So when you work them out and doing stomach vacuums, it like cinches it in. So it's a way to cinch your waist and make it smaller without losing fat. So I'm gonna try the 30 day challenge so you don't have to and we're gonna see if it makes my waist snatched or not. I'm excited. I have done them before, just like on and off and I do feel like when I do them, um, I see results in my waist, so. I'm really excited for this challenge. I will show you my waist and measure it and I'll show you how to do stomach vacuums as well. I'm probably gonna start doing them like 30 seconds. You only have to do like three sets and like 30 seconds a day, so it's super simple and easy. And yeah, I guess I'll start by showing you my before. So this is how my waist is looking. I'm like in the middle of the day, so I have eaten breakfast and like a snack, but this is how it's looking. I will measure it for you. It's at like 27 and three quarters right now. My waist is at, don't mind my squishmallow, it's at 27 and 3 quarters and I won't film myself doing it every single day but I'll probably give you like a week, two week, three week updates. Yeah, I'll let you guys know at the end of the month if it snatched up my waist. So let's do it for day one. Well, there's like lots of ways that you can do it, like you can do it standing, laying, like on your hands and knees. But today I'm going to start with just standing. So what you do is you start by breathing out, or breathing in, sorry. And then when you breathe out, you blow out all the air and suck your stomach in really tight. And then you hold it for like 30 seconds and you do that three times. So let's do it. in like that and you should be able to like breathe and stuff when you're doing it yeah I don't have a timer because I'm filming on my phone but I'm just gonna hold it yeah that's really all there is to it so my little intro I'll check back with you probably at the end of the week week after that until the 30 days are done we'll see if I have a snatch waist or not okay 
See you then. stomach vacuum two-week update I haven't filmed myself doing it every day just cuz I'm lazy but I have been doing it every day I went up from doing three sets of 30 seconds and now I'm doing three sets of 45 seconds every day so we're improving after the first week you no know, the first day um, my waist was 27 and three quarter inches and then at the one week update it was 27 and a half inches so we'll see if we have any progress after two weeks and then we're just gonna keep on doing what we're doing so let's measure this waist it's gone down three inches so far so I don't know if it'll go down anymore if it did that'd be so cool but three quarters of an inch down so far and like I feel like my waist is more snatched like when I wake up I look at in the mirror and it like seems more snatched so you guys you better get on your stomach vacuum game but we still have two more weeks to go so there's a two week update see you guys in two more weeks It's at 27, which is crazy because my weight stayed the same. My waist has never been 27 inches, or like in a long time, so we love stomach vacuums. See you in a week. Also, I know I haven't been filming them every day because, like, I just do it with my workout and it's too much work, okay? But I'm doing them, obviously. Obviously, I want to snatch away, so I wouldn't lie to you guys. Okay. See you in a week. Hey, guys. So, the month of Stomach Vacuum Challenge is done. Yeah, I missed a couple days. And I also didn't film very many for you. Sorry. I just, like, would do it after my workout and didn't film. So, but I did do them. Okay, so. I think my waist was, like, 27 and 3 quarters at the start of the challenge. So, we'll see what it is now. I stayed around the same weight the whole time. So, 
if I do get any progress, it should be because of the vacuum. So there's the handy dandy measuring tape. I am wearing the same leggings as in the first clip. Last week my waist was 27 inches, this week it's 27 and a quarter, so that could be water weight, could be whatever, but half an inch off my waist in a month is still really good, and, sorry, I and I recommend you try 75 beams, it's a good exercise, helps your lower back, helps to strengthen your core, which we all need. I recommend. That's it for my stomach vacuum challenge. I'm gonna keep doing stomach vacuums because I really like them. I think you should give them a try. And that's it, you guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this little challenge. Let me know what other fitness challenges you'd like to see me do in the future. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.